for what value or values of p does the equation x squared plus x over p plus 1 equal to 0 have equal rules? Now, this is the type of questions uh, that the tensile level 3, uh, the questions are asked where you can't use a graphic calculator to get the answer. Here you have to uh, have clear understanding of what uh, uh, or how to solve quadratic equation. So here yeah, the key word is uh, this equation has equal roots. This is what the key word is. So that's one skill that you need to learn to highlight or understand what the key word is. So in other words, what are they saying is this quadratic equation has equal roots. I'm writing uh, equal roots is the key word. Now, when does a quadratic equation have equal roots or the same roots? E you get equal roots. Uh, you can pause this video and think uh, what have what do you know about uh, a quadratic equation having equal root? Well, you should know that a quadratic equation has equal root when b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. Now, where what where did this come from? This is from the quadratic equation. Those who don't remember anything now, this is the general form of a quadratic equation: ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, where a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is the constant. And this is called the determinant, or this determines whether the quadratic equation has one root, or two roots, or no roots. So when it has equal roots or the same roots, you can say this should be zero. So the next step is to write what is a, b, and c, looking at the equation. So comparing uh, with the equation, we can very clearly see the a, which is the coefficient of x squared is one. So a is one, your b is, interesting, b is one over p p is 1 over p and c is also 1 because this can be written as uh, for those who don't understand how b is 1 over p this can be written as x squared plus plus 1 over p x 1 over p x plus 1 equal to 0 and that's why b is equal to 1 over p so this implies that to just substitute this a, b, and c in this formula, which is 1 over p, the whole squared, minus 4 times uh, a, which is 1, times c, which is 1, is equal to 0, which implies uh, 1 over p squared uh, minus 4 is equal to 1, is equal to 0, sorry. So which implies... 1 over p squared is equal to 4. Uh, and making p squared the subject or cross multiplying p squared is 1 quarter. And again, this is the next step is very crucial. p is, uh, you should not write 1 half, it is plus or minus 1 half. So p is plus or minus 1 half. So these are the two values of p. So the last step is. Uh, sorry, step is equally important where you need to check your answer. So let me use a different color. So the equation that we got was x squared plus 1 over px plus 1 equal to 0. So both the answers are right. So let's put p as half. So if you put p as half, this is x squared plus 1 over half x plus 1 is equal to 0. And 1 over half is same as 2x, which is 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. And now this is a perfect square of x plus 1 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. And that means x is equal to 1. There's only one root or equal root. You can write x uh, 1, 2 times or Basically, this equal roots means only one root. Now, if you put x as negative half, this will become x squared plus 1 over negative half 
x plus 1 equal to 0. Okay, so uh, this means this is x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. So this is x minus 1 times, oops, uh, let me use a smaller eraser. When you factorize this, this is x minus 1 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. So you have only one root. My pen is not working properly. This is x minus 1, so x is equal to 1. So this is what it means to say, so let us go back and understand the question. What is what what did we, what did it say? It has got for what values of x, sorry, what, what values of p does this equation have? Equal roots. Equal roots means same roots or one root. Equal roots means it is the same root or even simple it means it, it has got only one root. Okay, so this is what it means, p can be half or p can be negative half.